welcome to Todd Miller TV um, in my gym gear today. So I want to apologize for that. Remember, it's about the content, not about how I'm dressed. Okay, so I was reading a bunch of message boards about real estate, which I do quite a bit just to see what's going on out there, what people are talking about. And I, I came across this recurring theme I want to address. It's because it's really important and it's a big misconception. And it's the misconception that the reason that you're, as a buyer, your offer's not getting accepted in multiple offers is because that listing agent, they know what all the other offers are and they're getting, telling their clients, their client could just beat out everybody, right? So we're going to talk about that and it's a myth and this is why, okay? So I'm going to give you a specific example. I'm going to change the price, uh, but this is an example. So this guy complained about, I put in an offer, it was just me and one other person, and man, that I got beat out by 500 bucks by the listing office, right? I overbid by $5,500, but that other person overbid by 6000 and they got it because the listing agent got the whole commission. This is why, in theory, that's incorrect. Yes, yeah, sometimes the listing agent's buyers are going to get it. Sometimes they're not. We've seen it both ways. Okay, this is why. Okay, let's say we'll just pick a list price. $150,000. It's listed, and you you submit an offer. Let's just say you submit it for 150, and then you get a message back saying we have multiple offers. We need your highest and best, the most you're willing to pay. So you go, okay, fine. I'll go 155, 500, highest and best, like final. That's it. This is you're, you're not going to get another shot. This is it. You got one shot. Highest to best, highest to best, most you're willing to pay, 155.5. Okay, then it turns out that the listing agent's client bid 156 and got it. And you argue, ah, oh, that's why I didn't get it because they knew, because they knew what my highest and best was. So this is my question. Let's say that this 156. The buyer agent somehow found out about this. Hey, I found out the other agent's offer is 156. Would you raise your price? Meaning, would you go to 156, 500 to beat him out? Right? Would you raise it and try to come up here? The truth is, doesn't matter. This is why. If you say yes, oh yeah, I, I oh if I knew I could get it for 156, 5, I would bid that. Well, wait. You just said this was your highest and best. This is the most you're willing to pay. The truth is, that wasn't the most you were willing to pay. If you knew somebody else bid 156, then you would bid the 156, 500, right? And then what if they knew that you this was your 156, 500? Would they overbid you? So the thing is, if the highest and best is really your highest and best, and you get beat out, it doesn't matter. Someone else was willing to pay more than you. They were willing to pay 156. You said you were only willing to pay 155.5. You lost out. That was not your highest and best. If you're playing this game where you argue you got beat in a highest and best situation because somebody beat you, the beat they beat you because their highest and best was better than your highest and best. Period. End of story. And this is here's a perfect example when you say no, 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 Todd, that's not really the truth. If for a thousand bucks I would go higher, you need to make that decision back here not waiting until you find out the information. Okay, this is all something called game theory. Oh, T-H-E-O-R-Y, sorry. Game theory. It's all covered by game theory. And this is why that's important. Let's say, in this case, you are the listing agent. And you do tell your clients, hey, you know, Bob, you know, we know you submitted this offer for 150 and now we're, we have to go highest and best. And I've got this other guy and he tells him, hey, I've got an offer for 155.5. If your client is not willing to beat it, if he goes, no, look, I told you 150 is the most I'm willing to pay. I'm not going to change my offer. That's my highest and best. It's 150. You're telling me you got 155.5. I won't do it. I like, I won't beat that. You know, I only think the house is worth 150. I'm willing to pay that. I'm not going to beat this guy. The knowledge of the other person's offer is not relevant because this guy won't come above 150. It doesn't matter what you tell him, in theory. Now, if his highest and best is more, if it's 160, 
Let's say his really highest and best is 160. He's willing to pay 160. But, and then you tell that to this guy, and he goes, the other guy will pay 160. And he goes, wait, I'm not going to pay 160. The information is meaningless. It doesn't matter what you know. It matters the most you're willing to pay. The reason why this is a myth is because people don't really give their highest and best. They're all trying to sharpshoot the system. They're trying to bid as much as they can without overbidding by too much because no one wants to overpay. Game theory. That's why this myth, and I see it on message boards, I got screwed because the other agent told his client none of it matters. Everybody has the most they're willing to pay, and if you really, really, really honestly submit your most you're willing to pay, it doesn't matter what you know. No one can beat you. If your most you're willing to pay is more than everybody else, you get the property as long as you're straightforward. It's when you're lying about this to your agent and you go, well, let's try this because I, I don't think he'll overbid by more. Um, but then you find out that they do and go, darn it, I wish I would have been more. Actually happened to me. We submitted an offer. He guy really wanted the house. What's the highest and best? He rose, raised his offer. When it closed, I called him up and go, hey, you know, here's the deal. The house closed and this is what it closed at. And his first words were, if I didn't know that, I would have offered more. And I'm like, but you, this was your highest and best. He goes, well, I didn't think anyone would go above that. He tried to sharpshoot the system, lost out on the house. Right? That was the house. Ha all the time that happens. So just remember this. Realtors, consumers, your highest and best has to be your highest and best. If someone beats you, you can't have sour grapes because in truth, if they beat you, they paid more than your highest and best. And just saying, well, well, what, well I did, they, they, they told the person. It doesn't matter what you know. If they're not willing to beat it, if they're not willing to go more, it doesn't matter. The person willing to pay the, the most was. So, anyway, I want to share that with you because I hear this all the time. Oh, it's the listing agent just tells their client and they beat it. It doesn't matter what the listing agent tells them. If they're not willing to beat it, they're not going to get the house. Anyway, um, that's my update for today and hope to see you on another video. Thank you very much.